We are in Anaheim, California. It's duck country, and we are about to drop the puck on tonight's action. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Penguins win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Here's a chance to get it out. Oh, that's blocked and kept in at the line. Uh, it's amazing when there's so much ice available, and you hit the player square in the shins. you got to find a way to get that one out. Oh, look at this chance! And there's the save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Anaheim's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Pittsburgh's crossed the line and on the attack. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. They've got numbers here. Going with a stop. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Carlson's great at long breakout passes to spring the attack. That's his send it zone ability. Terry's known to bring the offense for his team. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. The Ducks gain possession. Play whistle dead offside the call. More than half the period left to play. We're still scoreless. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Anaheim's on the attack. Takes the puck behind the net. That's a textbook save by Jari. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Tired defenders as icing is the call. Well, a huge face-off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can't change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shot through the net, because, man, he needs a rest. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Anaheim's got the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Nice zone entry from the middle. Picked up along the wall by Terry. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. The Penguins are on the attack. Takes a shot. Simple stop by Gibson. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Stopped by the goaltender. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Past the halfway mark of this period, still looking for our first goal. The Ducks win it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. They've got the defense on number. And he had an answer with that save. Jari's able to put that puck to the corner and it really keeps the puck out of harm's way. No second shot opportunity. Dismiss that chance. Taken along the wall by Ludwig. And that's offside stopping the play. In the final moments of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Regains possession at center. Anaheim's looking to break out of their own end. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. 
The Ducks win the draw here in their own end. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. The Penguins have it from their own end. Fires it on net. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Crosby's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. There's the horn for period number one. As it comes to an end, we've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. For both teams to refuel, they're back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Advantage goalies for the first 20 minutes. Let's see if we get a goal here in the second. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Anaheim's definitely outplayed their opponent in the opening frame, James. They battled, they worked, they're very aggressive on the puck, and they managed it. They own the possession time, but they need to execute. This is a scoreless game. They've got to put it by the goaltender if they want to win. Crosby's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, what a hit. He got all of that hip check. Prince Stickwork with the steal. Taken by Gensel. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Gets it out of his own end. Pedersen's carrying it ahead. Shot. He scores! a fabulous shot when you're in that high spot area you know that you're gonna be closed upon quickly so you gotta have a quick release that's the first thing and the second thing is the accuracy if it's quick and it's on you're gonna score Pittsburgh's gone up by one here in the second period well, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point just to get that one goal lead James not only do they want to hold on to it they want to extend it now he got all of that one the Ducks scoop it up along the boards Pittsburgh's grabbed a hold of the puck Good stop by Jari. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. Gains the zone along the right wall. Turns it to the crease. Tremendous stop by Gibson. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. He scores! Jumps on the rebound.
James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. Pittsburgh's now up by two here in the second. They've really pushed the pace this entire game, James. It's going to be a question as to whether they can really close it out. And the first few strides have been urgent. That tells me they've been prepared right from puck drop. And now it's grabbed by Ludwig. Stoppage in play, offside the call. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Penguins now lead by two. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Joseph. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Puck grabbed by Carter. Drives to the sweet spot. Gibson's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. More than half the frame has been played here and it's a two-nothing hockey game. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Blocker save and a good one by Gibson. Henrique's moving the puck through his own zone. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Oh, the curves off the mask, and he shakes it off here after making the save. Here's a pass in front. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Here they come on the attack. Picked up along the boards by Leah Bushkin. Answered the call on that play. Cuffs up possession of the puck. The Penguins will play it from the defensive zone. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Hard hit, frees up the puck. to read and anticipate the play. Off the rush, and it's a three-on-one! Oh, and a great defensive play ends that rush. Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go. At least for now, right? Third period, just around the corner. Now's your chance to play three. Drop your plastic cups, bottles, and three paper products. Welcome back, James Sabalski, ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Ducks are getting goalie, James, and they've got an on-bound rush. Across the line. What a great defensive play to end that rush. Grabbed along the board by Lacombe. Puck picked up by Gensel. Looking to make something happen at center. Can't get it to go. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Pittsburgh's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And a solid stop on the play there. Fowler stick handling in his own zone. Takes the puck at the point. Anaheim's got it behind the net. With the stop. Turns another aside. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Ducks take possession here in the open ice. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. The Penguins get the second line out there, James. They've been real effective tonight. They've been dominant in the offensive zone. They've been key contributor, and this is really important when you want to get that secondary scoring. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. The Penguins have layered well today and really protected their goaltender. We've seen everything. They're so close to the shutout. Yes, it's a superstition, but this team has played so well defensively. It's not just a goaltender stat, it's a team stat. Unable to reach that one. Carson's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Oh, and he denies it with a fantastic stop there. Well, 
one thing's for certain, he is not a perimeter player, James. He's not afraid to fight for the tough areas of the ice because he can rely on his strength and his power. He can be pushed, he can be shoved, but you know that he's going to stay upright. Oh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there, you're in and around the puck, you go fishing, and you wind up in the box. Malkin's on this power play unit, and it's an opportunity for him to showcase his zone ability and help the team put one on the board here, guys. The puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Anaheim's looking to break out. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save. Incredible, James. Sends it across. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. The Ducks cross the line and gain the zone. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, this is what happens when you start to chase the game and find yourself looking to get better to position, and it's the slashing call. They're cracking down on it. Two-minute minor. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. Well, four-on-four four is similar to three-on-three. Three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-one all over. The Ducks will have a chance to go to work here on the main advantage after the penalty expired. Anaheim's got the puck. Gibson's last save was so... Here we go, two on one! And that rush is squashed with a strong defensive play. Puck scooped up by Henrik. Taken by Fowler. Good stop by Jari. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Ellers recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Moves it around along the half wall. Can't maintain possession after that hit. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And they keep the pressure on. Pittsburgh's back to even strength. Shoot. Oh, what a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. And he just stole one. Oh, wow. Now, wait a second here. I don't think this is going to count, James. The official waves it off right away, and you got to wonder whether it was tipped, redirected off of the skate, or whether there was a kicking motion. So two distinct things here. If you kick or make that move, the forward motion of your foot towards the net, it will be a no goal. But if it's redirected, that's fine. Whenever a goal is reviewed, that is looked at from multiple angles in the war room, and the official comes on the ice, no goal. Here in the late goings of the period, the Ducks get a hold of the draw. Gaining momentum along the wing. That's a solid hit. Anaheim's got the puck behind the net. Bluff save. Communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. And they win the draw here in their own end. Up the neutral zone now. They've got numbers. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. What a steal in his own end. It is all over. 
You know, Cheryl, always impressed when a goalie puts up a clean sheet, especially in today's game. Well, in today's game, I mean, the puck goes cross crease, you know, and, and the players can shoot from everywhere. Just the landscape of the game is so fast. But man, was he ever athletic tonight? He showed his movement, his mobility, and man, his ability to track. He was excellent. Really good. Hope you had as much fun as we did here tonight, and we will see you the next time. At least we hope so. From all of us here at EA Sports, take care, everyone.